Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So we are in a Dubai airport and I'm going to take you guys with on my very, very first time first class seat. So probably the first question that pops up in your head is how much did you pay for that? So I flew a lot last year. I saved a tons of miles. Always recommend to do, always keep your miles on track. And there was a first class seat available. So I immediately, I booked it, I upgraded it, and I'm super, super excited. Um, I'm here in Dubai, and I'm here in the first class lounge, and we are going to grab a cup of coffee. So we're going to enter the plane and I'm so, so excited. I'm getting into my seat and I never really drink champagne, but for this occasion, I think I should. Okay, oops, I got into my wrong seat. So I'm switching to even a better one at the window and we're ready for takeoff. I feel so tiny in this big seat and little cabinet. I'm first just trying to figure out all the functions and little buttons in this place. There we go, with a little door. I absolutely love that I was able to close it and sleep without people walking by. So I'm trying to put my seat back, but of course I'm pressing the wrong button like 10 times. Let me show you guys what we have in this seat. I opened this little secret drawer and there's a cute notebook and pen. I actually still use it at home because I was not taking any notes during the flight. Then there's another drawer with some toiletries like toner, pillow spray and a towel. Then, I think this is the best thing ever when I open the mini bar. This is literally a dream to have water, sodas and sparkling water in my seat. I love this so much because I drink a lot to stay hydrated during my flight. I always get so excited when I see goodie bags. So let's see what is in here. I grabbed the first thing, which is like a big envelope looking thing, which I actually really love and still use. I open it up and I find a cotton gray pajama, a pants and a top. A funny fact actually is that Max and I are still wearing these at home and these are our favorite ones. They're apparently made with a special material so you don't sweat as much, so you're also really, really comfortable on the flight. Then we got some flip-flops in there, which is always great because I need to walk to the bathroom like a hundred times. Then there's also a cute Bulgari toilet bag in there with a hairbrush, Bulgari lotion, towels, eye mask, and this little satin bag actually grabbed my attention. There's a little perfume bottle in there, People must have really big routines here on the plane. So, first things first, let's get comfy and let's get changed. So I'm all dressed up and I'm really comfy. Let me show you guys the little snack basket I have here. I literally think I could spend more than 24 hours on this plane. We have some nuts and pistachios, gingerbread popcorn, chocolate balls, fly fit tablets for hydration, tart chocolate, chips and mints. And I also could not believe when they just brought me some fresh cherries. I love to eat fruit on a plane because it hydrates as well. Nuts can sometimes give this really dry aftertaste. The cherries are very fancy though. I'm gonna start drinking water with a fit fly hydration. Put a little tablet in a glass of water. And this is actually so satisfying to watch solve it. I actually wanted to stay awake to enjoy the flight, but 
I had to take a nap first because I was so tired. I have someone come help me to make the bath because yeah, that's what they do for you. The bed is made and I also open up this really thick blanket, which is amazing because this literally feels like I'm in the clouds, which I actually am. I'm always freezing, so this is great to keep me warm. Then I'm ready to sleep. So I wanted to take a little nap, but I actually woke up six hours later. I did not plan to pass out, but apparently I was very comfortable. I wake up with Max and we chat for a little bit. After so many hours, I'm actually starting to get hungry. So we're gonna explore the food menu. This for me is like the most exciting part of the plane because normally I don't eat airplane food, but I definitely had to try this. They have anything from breakfast items to entrees. They make the table, put a fancy cloth, and I get some bread, salt, and pepper, and oil. I smelled the bread because yeah, I'm weird. Just checking if it's good. <laughs> this garlic bread, I'm actually still talking about because this was so, so extremely good. I just wanted to eat this every day and I never expected airplane food to be this good. As a starter, I ordered caviar just because I could. I usually don't really like it, but I wanted to give it a try. The caviar arrived with some little pancakes, but unfortunately nothing had changed and I was not really enjoying it. My chicken soup arrived, and it, which was actually very delicious because it's a little salty and the water keeps me hydrated. And then my entree arrives, which looks amazing and which I'm so excited about. I got a matze plate with hummus, red bell pepper cheese, grape rice leaves, broccoli, squash, and some pita bread. I often like to eat local dishes on board because I like it better than American food. So when you know me really well, you can guess what I'm gonna get for dessert. A cup of tea and some chocolate. This is a dark chocolate with orange in it, which I found in my little snack basket. The options here are endless. You could ring any moment and they would serve you food, drinks and anything you want. It was fantastic. Max come pick me up and we're gonna go on a little tour and check out the bar in the middle of the plane. Isn't this crazy, a bar in the middle of the plane? Here we can get some olives, snacks, drinks and champagne, anything you want. It's just really nice to stretch out your legs and just walk around a little bit. And we just goof around. Then we're going to land in two and a half hours, which means I need to freshen up. I wanted to arrive fresh, so I'm trying out this shower on the plane, which I actually had never done before, on the book at least. You basically reserve the bathroom with one of the stewards. I enter the bathroom in the plane and everything is there. I see a toilet, a shower, toiletries. I joked to Max earlier that I was not able to shower because my hair would get wet. And he said, you're crazy. Of course they have blow dryers. I didn't believe him, but it's here. You get a couple of minutes to get a hot shower, but it's so, so worth it. Shampoo, conditioner, everything is there. After I get out of the shower, I brush my hair and I add some Easy face oil to my face to hydrate my skin. A little skincare routine here. Then I blow dry my hair. So Max actually joined me for the last step in my fresh up routine, brushing our teeth. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? And we are about to land. This is probably the most craziest flight I've ever taken in my life. I enjoyed every minute of it and I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys very soon. Safe travels!